Welcome. This has been a little bit of a road, but um, I think we've known from day one that we would be here today, and now we are. This is a historic moment for Sweden. It's historic for our alliance. It's historic for the transatlantic relationship. Our NATO alliance, our defensive alliance, is now stronger and larger than it's ever been. Swedes realized something very profound, that if Putin was willing to try to erase one neighbor from the map, then he might well not stop there. And if he was allowed to proceed with impunity, not only would his aggression potentially continue, but would-be aggressors everywhere would get the message that it was open season. Sweden is, as was mentioned, now leaving 200 years of neutrality and military non-alignment behind. It is a major step, but at the same time, a very natural step. Membership means that we are coming home to the Alliance for Peace and coming home to the Alliance for Freedom, to which many democracies already belong. Also home to our neighbors' security cooperation. Home to the circle of countries where we, for generations, have belonged. We will defend freedom together with the countries closest to us, both in terms of geography, culture and values. And we are strengthening our defense and doubling the defense budget right now. From this year onwards, Sweden meets the NATO standard of 2% of GDP to defense spendings. This is important for NATO security, obviously, and to burden sharing. We are increasing the numbers of conscripts, strengthening civil defense, and reintroducing civilian service in Sweden. We have been prepared for this task for quite a while, and I'm very pleased to take this very final step.